As a girl, I thought one of the most unique plants in the world was porcupine grass, and it was for its seeds. Today, I'd like to show you how I thought it was so unique and why I thought it was so unique. You can see this bundle of seeds here. So this is multiple seeds from the porcupine grass. And you can see why it's called porcupine grass, because they look like the quill from a porcupine. So there's different parts of the seed. On the end down here is a very sharp point. And this part here, I'll break it apart. This short part here is the seed. So there's a sharp end to it. There's hairs on the seed, and the hairs point in a certain direction always. They point uh, back from the seed, kind of like fletchings on an arrow. And then you have the quill part of the porcupine, the long part. This is an awn. And so these are the parts of this seed, and they serve a very unique function in nature to get the seed into the ground and sow the seed. So when you have your seed and it falls off of the plant, the seed is straight, the on is straight. So you've got the seed down here and then the on. The on is straight. And it falls down, hits the ground, and then when it does that and starts to dry out, this on starts to twist. And so it, here it's in its twisted position, you can see. And it starts to twist. And that twisting motion then basically drives that seed down into the soil. And so it makes a little bit of progress. The hairs on it keep it from coming back out of the soil. So it's kind of like a one way, you know, it only goes into the soil. It can't really come back out. And so then overnight it dews or it rains possibly, and that on straightens back out. And then again, it gets hot, it gets dry during the daytime and that seed spirals more and goes into the soil more. Uh, some of them can work their way into the soil three or four inches due to the spiraling action of this on. Watch in this time lapse how the seeds go through their physical change. So they're starting out, they're starting out wet as they would when they fall off the plant. So the on is straight. And of course you've got the seed down here on the end. And then as the seeds begin to dry out, that on begins to twist and it also bends. And so you have like this corkscrew that is basically working, drilling that seed down into the soil. So as a girl, I thought this was such a fun plant when I would walk the prairies with my folks and, and learn the plants. And I, I just really enjoyed it. And it was kind of fun when we saw a good stand of it again this year, uh, we were able to harvest it. And so we have it ag again uh, for sale and we haven't had it for a number of years. So it's a fun plant, uh, really fun for if you have like kids that are going to see the plants uh, and interact with them. You can, you know, it's a great show and tell. It's a really big seed, easy to see. Uh, it is pretty sharp, but it is a very fun plant for kids to interact with. I'm Elizabeth with Hamilton Native Outpost. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And also check out our website for the seeds of porcupine grass and many other native grasses and wildflowers, as well as helpful tips in how to establish native plants.